Hello everyone. So to today we will see one of the most important topic that is Pareto analysis or else Pareto chart, which is also known as 80-20 rule. So we will see what do you understand by Pareto analysis, how we can use that in our process. We will also see how we can improve our process with the help of Pareto chart. We will also see the history behind that. So before moving to the video, I uh, would request everyone please do like and subscribe my channel and uh, we will see more videos which are being published in coming days. So please do subscribe my channel and uh, we'll start with the Pareto analysis and Pareto chart tutorial. So let's see what is this Pareto chart. So Pareto chart is originated in 1897 by an Italian economist the name is Welfredo Pareto so Welfredo Pareto actually analyzed that in the Italy 80% of the wealth is because of 20% of rich people which means because the 20% of the rich pe people because of that the economy of or else the, the wealth of the Italy has been concluded so if we see that Pareto analysis rule which is also known as 80-20 rule guys so what is this 80-20 rule? There are many examples you can find on Google like uh, for this Pareto analysis for this 80-20 rule. People are using not only in the BPO field. We can see this uh, Pareto analysis can be used in many, many fields in a business field, in a IT field. This this rule is applicable at, at everywhere. So guys, what is this 80-20 rule? 80-20 rule is nothing, which means 80% of effects come from 20% of causes which means if there are 20% of causes due to this we are facing 80% of effects there or else we can also tell because of 80% of defect we are getting because of 20% of defect we are getting 80% of problems so this is also uh, one thing we can conclude with the help of this 80-20 rule if we see in our daily life we are facing 80% of problem because of our 20% of causes. If we work on our 20% of causes, if we are able to identify that, automatically our 20% 80% of problem will get resolved. In terms of BPO, again guys, if you are looking at the BPO company, so we have 80% of dent, dent or else we have 80% of problem in our process because of 20% of causes. So if we want to remove that 80% of problem or else let that particular dent, we need to work on 20% of causes guys if we work on that 20% of causes automatically there will be an in improvement in our process so guys if you go with these certain steps you, if you are memorizing all these certain steps definitely if HR is going to ask you about the Pareto analysis you will be able to give the answers and th these steps are very easy guys you just memorize that HR or else uh, quality manager if they are going if you guys are going for the interview definitely this question will be there what do you understand by Pareto analysis just give these examples definitely HR will agree with your answer and they will they will select you for that particular role so this is all about the Pareto analysis guys which you need to remember don't go in depth like how it was originated what was the history behind that don't go with the complete history we will just see what actually we required in our uh, job role so let's move uh, let's move to the excel sheet where i will explain you guys how you can use the pareto analysis how can you can design the pareto, pareto chart with the help of that how we can do the analysis so i have gone through one uh, example guys and i have chosen the example of uh, a calling process wherein a quality analyst do the uh, audit on the basis of parameters you can see i have added certain parameters like call ending sympathy call tagging company name empathy apology call opening and all so for an example if an agent is taking a call if he is following all the parameters definitely he will not get any defect over there if a person is not following suppose he he had not done the call opening properly we will mark that as an error so that is completely done with the help of one audit report will be there or audit sheet will be there on the basis of that we will do this analysis uh, we will do this marking so what i had done i have just kept this uh, parameters and uh, just consider this is a monthly data and i have kept the entire data over here like how many errors i got in the entire month for the apology so i have just kept this arrange this data what i will do for the Pareto analysis i have just opened one uh, sheet over here wherein 
I just sorted all the values. How you can sort this uh, sort sort these guys? You just go to a uh, home tab, go to sort, click on largest to smallest. If you do that automatically, the sorting will get done. Once the sorting get done, we need to calculate here as the cumulative frequency and cumulative frequency percentage. So first I will calculate CF percentage, then I will go with the CF. How we can calculate cumulative frequency percentage? Before that, you need to do sum sum of all the values the the defects we need to do sum of all the defects we got 418 now how we can calculate this cumulative frequency percentage just write equal to select g column that is 120 divided by 418 if you do you will get certain percentage over here just select this and paste it to all the columns okay and all the details will uh, all the percentage we can calculate over here if this is if you are if you guys are not getting these values in the percentage you just go to the home tab and click on percentage automatically this will get converted into the percentage after that we will calculate cf to calculate the cf what you need to do you need to do sum so how we can do this calculation just see first one you need to keep as it is which is 29 you will keep that 29 as it is next move to the second second you need to add with 29 the first one with the cf percentage for that particular column that is 13 percentage you will get 42 again take the above one which is 42 and sum this with the next column which is behind to this which is 55 in this way you will do all the sum and at the end you need to get 100 percent over there if you are not getting 100 percent then there is an issue guys so make sure at the end you need to uh, get 100 percent so if you are getting the 100 percent which means you have done the correct calculation after done with that select all the data after selecting the data go to insert click on recommended chart just click on the second chart okay you will get this chart now this is the Pareto chart how we can find out this 80 how we can identify the 80 20 rule over in this particular graph before that i will change the title name as uh, Pareto analysis just you need to click there okay it get converted i will just resize it okay i have done the resize after done done with the resize you need to keep data label on the bars just select the bar automatically all the bar will get selected click on plus click on data label you will get certain data labels over here after done with that you need to click on the you need to get this to the hundred percent double click there if you do double click you will get this bar option you need to keep this maximum length as 1.0 done now it got converted into 100 percent also so everything is sorted now now how you can keep your 80 20 rule here so how so which means i need to focus on the 80 percent parameter like what are the 80 percent what are the parameters which are coming under 80 percent for that what i will do i will add certain arrows over here so that i can easily conclude like which parameters are coming under 80 percent so if you see here this is the last point correct now i will add one more parameter uh, one more go to the insert go to the shapes and click on arrow if you click on arrow just create below which means i need to focus still here if i if i'm focusing on this uh, apology offering call assistance call tagging company name and somehow on empathy if i focus on these five parameters my 80 percent problem is because of these five parameters if i will work on these five parameters automatically my problem will get resolved which means these are the 20 percent causes because of which i'm getting 80 percent of dent i believe you guys are understanding my point so if i work on these five parameters automatically you can you can uh, color this five five uh, five bars and if you color it automatically it will get uh, identified so in this way guys you can identify the pareto analysis with the help of pareto chart which means if i will work on these five parameters my 80 percent problem will get resolved so this is all about the Pareto analysis. You can uh, learn it very easily, guys. You can show all the terms in report as well. And uh, you can also get the improvement in our process if you work on all the parameters. So no need to work on all the certain parameters. If you focus on this five, automatically your 80% problem will get resolved. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching. I believe you have liked this video. And please do subscribe my channel for the next upcoming videos. Thanks a lot.